It's really pretty layered, layered over that. Layered over her. I'm trying to think about the formula while I'm talking. That's why I'm doing this. Hey guys, welcome back. So we've got Friday favorites and foods for you today. And I would say this week I was kind of going more for like metallics. Like I've got a coppery favorite. I've got kind of like a, I don't know, rosier rose gold favorite like more on the rose side of rose gold. Anyway, we'll get to that in a second. So kind of metallic -y favorites and then some sort of random situations. So yeah, let's get into the favorites. So last week I was really enjoying one of the trios from the Wet n Wild Fall 2016 collection, the Plaid to the Bone trio. And then this week I've been grabbing for the other one. This is the Velour Vixen trio. This is so pretty. It's so kind of like, I don't know, Halloween-y fall feeling because it's a little bit like dark and dramatic but it's really beautiful and it's just gorgeous and it's like two or three bucks so that's awesome. My favorite from the trio is this one. It's just a beautiful kind of like, I don't know, burgundy raspberry wine sort of a color but this um, matte creamy shade is really nice too. It, rem it reminds me a lot of Brulee, which I also love, the single in Brulee. It's just a gorgeous, pigmented, creamy shade. So I do have all three of these on my eyes today. I have the kind of like burgundy sort of shade in my outer corner and crease. I have the creamy shade as my, did I say the? I have the cranberry shade in my outer corner. I have the creamy shade as my brow bone highlight. And then I have the darker color in my outer corner, like just a little tiny bit of that, just for a little bit of added dimension. So yeah, I mean, just really pigmented. You really can't see the brow bone very well because it's really close to my skin tone color, but it is pigmented. It's beautiful. These blend like a dream. They wear really well. What is up with that swatch? <laughs> That's a little bit strange looking of a swatch there, but I tell you, knuckle swatches, whatever that is, swatches get weird around here sometimes, but hopefully you can still see the color. Um, it's just an awesome trio and I was grabbing for it a lot this week. I just majorly gouged two of those shadows when I went to close it. That is so sad and it was my two favorites. <laughs> They're still functional, but that stinks. Okay, so also on my eyes this week, I've been using my Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo and I have it in number five Lottie. So I do have this on my eyes today, kind of on my lids. This is so glittery and beautiful. It is a little bit complicated to use, so it's got the creamy side and then the kind of glittery top coat side. So I would say do one eye at a time because you want the glittery um, top coat to adhere to the kind of like creamy side. So you don't want the creamy side to fully dry before you get the glitter on there. You know what I mean? And then also, the glittery side, the little applicator thing, is kind of curved, so it can sort of like get stuck and like poof everywhere. So, I mean, it is a little bit complicated to use, to be honest, but it's so pretty that it's worth it. I'm trying to get this all situated to show you. Um, and also, I like really pat versus like swipe with the um, glittery shades. So I get a tiny little brush and just pack it on. So. I'll get the applicator, I'll dot it on, then I'll use the brush to kind of pack it on. Okay, so there it is, the liquidy one by itself, and there is the glitter over it. What? That's amazing. Oh my gosh. It is like a silvery, taupey, lilac kind of a color, but then this is kind of a little bit rosy rose gold, so it's more on the rosy side of rose gold. It's so gorgeous. I love it. So if you can get past the kind of like complication of applying it, it's so, so pretty and I think well worth it. Oh, there were other shades of this, but this kind of purpley taupey shade is definitely like a standout because I think it's kind of a little bit something different, but it's amazing. Then I was also really loving a kind of coppery lower lash line. So this was the combo that I really enjoyed this week. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Show Me. I was gonna say show off, no, show me. 
This is really nice. It's very creamy, really just like glides on the eyes. I mean, this is a good liner. It makes me want more colors. This is the only shade that I have. I also have a potted one. I never really reach for that, but this one I do. And it just glides on, but it stays well. It's good for layering. So first applied that, and then I have this um, Make a Peak shadow over it. This is one of the foils in Untamed. I was thinking it was Flamethrower, but I don't know if I have that one. So this is like, whoa. Is that not amazing? <laughs> that is so pretty. It's like a super yellowy, orangey, gold color. Wow, that's amazing. Is that not incredible? It's gorgeous by itself. It's really pretty layered, layered over that. Layered over. I don't know what I just said, but it's really pretty layered over that. Just a gorgeous combo, but I need to wear this shadow more because this is incredible. So unique and gorgeous and pigmented. For blush this week, I pretty much wore this one almost every single day and this is so pretty. This is one of the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blushes. And this is, it says neutral, N34 Innocent Flush. So I have this one and then Baby Blossom, I think. I talked about that one just a couple weeks ago, I think. Or it might have been a month or two ago. I don't even remember, but semi-recently. I love that one. And this one is the other shade that I have. And this this is gorgeous. It is just kind of, obviously I'm wearing it today. It's like a light peachy shade. It's very light, but it's really glowy. So you don't need a highlight with it. I mean, you could, I mean, I went all out a couple days and added highlight on top of it, but it really kind of like, you know, does a double duty sort of a purpose. So you don't really need the highlight, but it's just like really beautiful and light and glowy. It builds on itself really well, so you can just kind of keep building up the color, or it can be really subtle. It just has this kind of like girly, angelic look on the cheeks. It's so pretty, such nice quality. Drugstore, but higher end drugstore. Like, I want to say these are usually like around $11 or something, maybe even more. I don't know. So they're kind of pricey. But this is huge. This is six grams, so it's a good size blush, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Like, this looks like anything high-end to me. This looks like this could be totally, I don't know, something from NARS or Too Faced or whoever. It's just really, really pretty. I grabbed several of the Rimmel Kate 15-year anniversary lipsticks. Look at this packaging. That is so pretty. I think they were like around six in the display, maybe, and I picked up three of them. I got kind of like a burgundy purpley sort of color and then I got two of the nudes. The standout this week for me was 56 Boho Nude. Oh, I can't get over this packaging. It feels light and kind of like cheapy feeling but it looks so pretty. So so pretty. And these are like you know six bucks and sometimes they're buy one get one half off or whatnot so super affordable but that is such a pretty nude. Really really gorgeous. Now I do have comparison swatches of these, the three different ones that I got, with some from their permanent line. And they are really close to some of the colors in their permanent line. So I wouldn't say go out and get them because of the colors, because it's like, oh, I'm gonna miss out on this color, because you could definitely get one of the permanent shades if you're just going for the color, but the packaging is definitely worth going and grabbing one because it's just so pretty to look at. I mean, it's like a beautiful rose gold. And if it felt heavier, it definitely looks like something that, I don't know, MAC would do for like a special edition, something or other. Um, but the weight of it definitely feels lighter. But it looks really pretty. And I do really like the formula of this. It's like really creamy, really comfortable, hydrating feeling on the lips. Not super long wearing, but just a really comfortable, pretty cream lipstick. And this is a beautiful, Kind of a warm nude. I just love it. Now what I have on my lips right now, this is definitely just one of those no-brainer kind of lip colors. It's very close to my natural lip color and it's just one of those like easy everyday sort of pink shades. Really really pretty. Love the color. Of course I love the formula. I just talked about one of these recently. This is one of the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lip Colors and this is in Swag. So this is one of the 
100 point perks semi-recently. And honestly, this is probably one that I would not have grabbed just from looking at swatches. Um, Cause it doesn't look all that exciting, really. Like it just kind of looks like sort of a mid-tone pink. So I probably wouldn't have like jumped for this color, but I'm really glad that I got the point perk and that I have this now because I love it. It's just one of those, you know, colors that I could throw in my purse and it would go with everything. Work appropriate, pretty. You could add a gloss over it if you wanted to. And again, like I mentioned a couple weeks ago with another color of this um, formula, I love this formula. It is kind of a little bit moussey feeling, but then it sets down um, to be pretty matte. <laughs> I'm trying to think about the formula while I'm talking, that's why I'm doing this. Um, <laughs> it's just, so it sets down, but it doesn't ever get that kind of like papery dry feeling at all. Um, it's not transfer proof. Um, it's not as like wear like iron as the others, but also it doesn't do that weird line. It just fades more evenly, kind of more like just a regular matte lipstick. So I love, love, love the formula on these and this is just such a pretty pink so I was wearing it a lot this week. Alright guys so those are all my favorites for this week so I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!